Hi there guys, I'm Danny, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go To Space. Today I'm bringing you a video on the Norse goddess Aiden. Now although she is little spoken of or betrayed in modern popular culture, she was an important goddess. She is the keeper of the Eski, the wooden box that houses the golden apples of eternal youth, which she gives to the other gods to keep them young. Now these apples are also themselves eternal, as they always regrow. She is a member of the Asindur or the Goddesses, and is one of eight. She is also the youngest of all Ivaldi's children. She is the wife of Bragi, the god of poetry, and the sister of Nana, the goddess of devotional love and joy. She is depicted as being a youthful, beautiful woman with a naive and bubbly personality and described as golden. Her name means the rejuvenating one. She first appears in the very first chapter of the Poetic Ada. Aiden is the goddess of vitality, youth, renewal and all things new. There are some links to spring and fertility, and because of all this she is adorned with blossoms and fruits. During one of the many stories in the two Adas, her beauty catches the eye of the giant Thiassi. When he was attacked by Loki and the trickster god became stuck to his side, they bartered. Thiassi, in the form of a giant eagle, told Loki that if he could bring her out of Asgard with her apples, he would be free. So Loki told her he had seen apples that could rival her golden ones. She follows him and is snatched up by the giant eagle. The Asir begin to age, and remember that they last saw Aiden with Loki. He is caught and threatened and reveals everything. Freya then lets him borrow her cape that can turn him into a falcon. He takes shape and flies to Jotunheim, or the land of the giants. Loki finds Aiden, transforms her into a nut, normally said to be a hazelnut, and flies her home. Thiassi returns and finds her gone. He sees Loki in the distance and so pursues them. When the gods see them, they set a fire. Loki manages to clear it, but Thiassi's feathers catch on fire and he falls just within the gates of Asgard. There he's actually killed. Aiden is restored to her true form, and she gives the gods her apples. Over time she has had many symbols attributed to her, apples obviously, and therefore apple cider. Now apples have actually been found preserved in burials. Orchards and fruit trees are also known to be hers. Nuts, fruits, blossoms, eggs and seeds, anything that could represent fertility and regrowth. Baby animals, woven baskets, spring, dawn, streams, brooks, spas and saunas, pools, fountains and springs basically most natural forms of water. Also the rune Vend, the colours gold, light green and pink, primarily the pale and rosy kinds, harmony, prosperity, comfort, joy like her sister, fellowship and success. During the past handful of decades, scholars have come to think Aiden and the Anglo-Saxon goddess of fertility Ostra are one and the same, and she also bears a strong similarity to the Greek goddess Hebe, or at least their stories seem to overlap a little. As Hebe is the goddess of youth, and who lived in the Hesperides, the garden that the golden apples grew in. Well that's it for this short video, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave a like, subscribe and click the notification bell to be alerted to when we upload new videos, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, in the comments section and on Twitter. Bye!